Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we are going to make an advent calendar for Sarah, my niece. I thought I would show you what I bought. So if you want to make one, you can. The first thing I got, it's a Keurig thing. K-cups, hold your K-cups. This holds exactly 24, perfect, right? Um, I got it off of Marketplace on Facebook for $5. Excellent. I need to come up with a star for the top. I'm going to spray paint it black. So I got some Ultra Matte on Amazon for 5 bucks. Rust-Oleum. To go in it, I ordered from Amazon this 30-pack of K-Cups. It's a variety cat pop. the a variety pack. It has some Wolfgang Puck, Cake Box, Edamins, Double Donut Coffee, all these brands. All different flavors. There's 30 in here. This was, I think, $19? So, under $25, I will have an advent calendar for my girl. So, I will bring you along and show you what I'm doing. Alright, I'm in the garage. There's my car. I'm going to be careful. And there's no wind out here, but it is raining. So I have to do it in the garage. You really want to give this a good shake. And this is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2 times Ultra Cover Paint Primer. Ultra Matte. It says it is fast drying indoor, outdoor, wood, metal, plastics, and more. All right. So you want to do lots of little coats right? You just kind of, a lot of little coats. What you don't want to do is pile it on here because you'll end up with runs. And nobody wants the runs. <laughs> okay, I am funny, right? There. So we're going to just let that dry. I'll do multiple coats of that, and then the tree is done. How easy was that? Don't mess up, don't look at my messy garage. Let's move on with our advent calendar. So what I did, and I showed you spray painting this K-cup holder, right? Just a K-cup tree. What I like about it is look at it spins. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use for this one, I'm using these um, garland ties from the Dollar Tree. I told you, these come in handy. And I'm just weaving them in here, like in and out. You're going to want to cut them. I just have my little, well, that one may not work. I may need to get the bigger wire nips, but I'm literally just going in and out in out in out just to get them down at the bottom I don't want them to interfere with my um, k-cups placement I'm not even honestly I'm not even like tying them together I'm just feeding them in feeding in the greenery at the bottom I'm deciding if I want to go up the center which I might but we'll see let's get the greenery going around first so here's a full one I'm just starting on an in, and you just, it's gonna, you know, it's a little fussy, nothing terrible. Oops. So in here, up through here, and the only reason I'm weaving it is like this is I really want it to show on the outside. See? So every other, um, every other little spot or wire here, it's just gonna go in and out. And I finish on and in, always. I did seal this with some shiny gloss sealant, um, just because I didn't want the paint to scratch off. Right over here, I have it up. Oop, I messed up. If you mess up, it's not a big deal. And I say mess up, but honestly, I don't feel like I really messed up. I just <laughs> did the weave wrong. All right, let's see here. So in, out, in, out in. Perfect. So 
we got them in there. We're gonna do one more. And here's where the K-cups are gonna sit. So that's why I'm trying to leave the top open and the bottom in. Um, and the thing is, these are wired. These garlands are wired, so you don't have to worry about tying them on. They're just gonna stay all on their very own, which I love. You could do two if you wanted. You could do ribbon. You could wrap your greenery in some of these um, garlands. You could weave in some ribbon if you wanted to. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. You could wrap it around your stem. There's a hundred different ways you can do this. But, oops, I'm trying not to throw everything on my floor. My goal is to get the green around the bottom first. Okay. And I think I will, what do you think? Should I go up the center? Let's just get crazy and go up the center. So all I'm gonna do is put it in here and hold it. And I'm not even gonna weave it. I'm just gonna wrap it around this center. Um, you know, like, have you seen on artificial Christmas trees? Just like that. Nothing of any importance or finicky. You're not going to see a whole lot of it. And then we're going to kind of go down there. This is honestly just like on a fake Christmas tree. They wrap around the center to cover, you know, the stem and stuff. If I had littler hands, that would work. And I don't remember if I told you, but I got this K-cup tree holder thing on the marketplace on Facebook and it was $5. I have also seen them at the thrift store. I feel like a lot of people bought them and just don't want them anymore. However, you can still get them on um, Amazon and I think they were like $10. So honestly, you can get one. Now at the very top, I don't feel like I need a whole one. So we're just gonna take the one I cut because wait till you see what I bought. Now I will kind of tighten this one in up here. And the beauty of this also after Christmas, she can take off the green and um, use it at her house. Now I purchased, where'd it go? For the little mini Christmas trees, one of these star tops. I sealed this with spray paint sealer. I was not even messing with hairspray. This thing is a glitter bomb. At the bottom, I just untwisted the wire to make it bigger like that because we're going to stick it right up on here. And as soon as we get it where we want it to go, I'm going to tighten it down a little bit. This part's a little fussy. I have some needle nose pliers here that may help me. I want it on here pretty tightly so it doesn't fall. There we go. It'll stay there. You can also, I could also use um, this greenery to hold it on. So watch this. Put it down and then wrap that green. Oh, my fingers are in the way. Wrap the greenery just around it to hold the star in place. This is not getting a lot of work here guys it's not gonna fall or anything like that i can also which i probably should do is just do a little dollop of hot glue at the top there we go and the hot glue if she wants to take it apart the hot glue will peel off the metal but that's just gonna hold it upright for our star because what this is a christmas tree guys all right, so I'm done with any of the wire clippings. I kept out, I took out the hot glue in case I wanted to decorate the greenery a little bit um, around here. I have some of these sparkles along with some holly berries that I might stick in. I have ribbon. I have one of these signs we may do. But let's show you, oh, and I have pine cones. You could hang ornaments in here. You could do bells. 
But right now I'm gonna show you how I decorated a K cup. So let me take this one off. What I did, I have a two inch punch, paper punch. And I took out some green paper. And this is cardstock, so it's a little heavier. And I get these two inch circles that fit exactly on top of a K cup. Because I didn't want to see what flavors, but I did go through and write little notes to her on the inside. So this one says, I love you. And this coffee is dark roast. This box that I ordered has, ooh, has um, 30 different flavors of coffee. So I took 24 of them and um, used some washi tape. I have, this is all the Christmas washi that I thought would be appropriate. To use and I just decorated it now if you don't have a two inch punch you can just take a piece of washi you could take a piece of masking tape you could take a piece of painters tape right on it with a sharpie I'm not even putting days I'm putting I want to put these in here neatly so that's and oh and I used a black sharpie marker to write my little messages to my sweetheart because I love her and every day when she opens up a coffee she'll get a new flavor different these are all different flavors she'll get that and she'll also have a little note from me isn't that fun and I'm just trying to make sure that all my colors are you know separated around cut oops the washi doesn't hold perfectly I'm not gonna lie that's okay. It's all right. We're going to make this work. I have a lot of red, apparently. Oh, here it is. Ooh, this is Sumatran. And this one says, talk less, smile more. That's a Hamilton quote because we like Hamilton. And what it'll do to the tape will be held by the pieces of the advent calendar right oops some of this washi doesn't stick real good but that is actually okay because when she takes it off um you don't want to put them in the machine with the cardstock oh here's the other washi i got at the dollar tree you could cover your tops with that as well you could cover them with anything you could cover them with nothing you could just buy them this tree and fill it with all the different coffees or whatever coffee they love. If you've got a coffee lover and they have a specific brand, let me tell you, they would love this gift. Now, oh, I've got this one with Santa. And then she doesn't have to, I'm not telling her which ones to open. She can just pick whatever ones she wants. Right? No peeking. Let's see what's going on over here. Now, this is where my little kind of OCD is going to come into play because I'm not going to want the Santa all on the same side, right? So we'll just do that. There we go. 24. I can fill the rest in up there. Who knows? But I have 24 right here and look at my tree should we decorate in between a little bit i don't know we could put some things up here to stick out like pine cones i could put some of these in the top or nothing works for me because i don't want to over oh but i do want to write her a little note on here I could put it up on her star. What do you think our little note should say on this with the clip? What should we say? Love you. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. We'll put enjoy. So, and I'm just, I have a white paint pen and on like chalk on here.
and it just says enjoy. And I'll just stick it right there for her. I could put little messages all over it. There's a hundred million things you can do. I'm going to keep hers kind of basic um, just because that's how I'm going to roll with this. So she's got 24 K cups to choose from. And that is one every morning for the 24 days leading up to Christmas. And then I'll stick number 25 just in the top here. So she has 25 days of coffee from December 1st until Christmas morning. How does that sound, guys? I will take this downstairs, set it up, and I will give you a better view of it. I love it. I got her this mug. It says peace, love, and belly rubs. And look, it's got puppies with Christmas sweaters and collars and Santa hats. So she got a new Christmas mug and her 25 days of K-Cups. So easy. This whole gift cost me under $25 to make. I know that's a little pricey for some and that's okay. I'm going to have other advents coming up, but this is the first one I chose to make and I am in love. And I hope you are too. All right, guys. Enjoy. Bye.